In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate the paramagnetic properties of oxygen. The setup to liquefy the gas is basically the same one I showed in my last video, with a few changes. I'm now using a proper Dua flask, and I 3D printed some feed for the cold head. But probably the most important change, I'm also using the first stage of the pump. In my last video, you can see that I insulated the first stage, because I just assumed it would not get cold enough to liquefy gases anyways. Turns out that's not true, so thank you Nikos for pointing that out. It increased the yield by a lot. I am now measuring the temperature at the first stage, and as you can see it's at the boiling point of oxygen. To make sure I get fairly pure oxygen, I am using my oxygen concentrator to feed oxygen to the cold head. The metal tube contains silica gel to dry the gas so I won't get as much ice buildup on the cold head. After two hours I removed the cold head. Here you can see the tube for the oxygen. I could not weigh the yield because the Dua was too heavy for my scale, but I will do that in the future. But even without a scale you can already see that in these two hours I produced a lot more than in the five hours last time. Sadly you are still not able to see the blue color properly. I can see it in person but the camera of my phone just does not pick up the color. If I place a magnet in the oxygen you can already see that the liquid gas is sticking to it. But I wanted to recreate the famous experiment of suspending liquid oxygen in air between two magnets. So I just stuck two magnets to my vise and poured liquid oxygen on them. And you are able to see that the liquid oxygen is being held in the air between both poles of the magnets. But I wanted an even better demonstration, so I quickly designed some parts in Fusion and 3D printed them. These two brackets I 3D printed are meant to hold some magnets at a fixed distance, in this case 6 mm. The larger magnets at the back are just there to increase the strength of the smaller magnets. I had to work with what I had lying around. This time you are able to see the effect of the paramagnetism of oxygen really well. The liquid oxygen is held between both magnets until it evaporates. But why is oxygen paramagnetic? Paramagnetism is a form of magnetism where the material is weakly attracted to an applied magnetic field, in this case the magnets. The reason oxygen is paramagnetic is due to its unpaired electrons. Looking at the molecular orbital diagram of oxygen, you can see the two unpaired electrons in the antibonding pi orbitals. In other words, oxygen is a d radical. Due to their spin, unpaired electrons have a tiny dipole moment. If an external magnetic field is applied, the spin of these electrons aligns and causes an attraction. I hope you liked today's short video. I really enjoy communicating with you guys. Receiving help from you and hearing your suggestions on what to do next is one of the things I value most on YouTube. So thank you. A special thanks goes to my Patreons. You are awesome for supporting me. Thank you a lot for watching.